starting on the June uh, 2018 paper. June 2018 paper two for combined science. So the way that I I do it is I actually work this out as if I'm actually writing this paper and then I explain to you afterwards. So I'll play some music and then I'll just work through it and then I'll explain to you. Okay, so uh, on question 1a, we're told that uh, this is a human tooth, okay? So we actually have four types of um, human teeth. So you have uh, the incisor, you have the canine, you have the premolar, and then you have the molar. So the question is, how do you identify this particular tooth here? So the, the canine teeth, that's the teeth that looks like, like this, okay? So it's the animalistic tooth. It uh, looks as if, uh, it's a it's a vampire vampire tooth or it's a dog tooth okay and then you have the incisor the incisor it's it's um and the incisor it looks like um it looks a bit rectangular so the incisor it looks a bit rectangular here and then it has uh, a longer root here okay so this one will be the the incisor my end rating is is very lousy but essentially this is what you be getting. So the, these uh, premolar, they look like this, okay? And the, the reason uh, we pointed out this, that this could be uh, premolars was because uh, it had these two roots here. So normally premolar, they denote them with, with two roots just like this, okay? And then you have uh, what's called the, the, the premolar, they denote them with these two roots here. And you have what's called the, the, the molar teeth okay so the molar teeth they denote them with with three roots normally so you'd be having uh this root here and you'll be having uh some other root maybe here like this and then the crown would be bigger than all these crowns here and then you would be having uh another root here okay so normally they uh, present them in this way so the reason i pointed out that this could be premolars was because of the crown here the crown is um two essential structures so you have this one here and then you have this one here and it also has two roots okay so if it has two roots i'm thinking it has to be it has to be premolar the the molars they they actually have three roots and then the crown looks like it has three structures okay so the um, you're asked to state the function of the tooth so the function of the premolar it's to to crush and grind food okay and uh the, the premolar is this one just like uh, we pointed out uh this one okay and then this this uh, canine canine tooth it's for gripping and tearing because uh, sometimes they'll ask you they'll ask you uh, for the canine tooth then how would you know okay so it'd be for gripping and, and tearing so this is the animalistic tooth because animals usually they eat their their meat raw so if they are eating their meat they actually need to grip onto the onto the prey and then maybe tear it apart okay and then the incisor. Uh, this one's here, it's for cutting food. So the incisor, it's for, for cutting cutting food. So they cut food. This is what we just covered. Uh, it's for what? For crushing and grinding. So it's for crushing and, and grinding. And this one here, the, 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 the molars, they are for, for grinding only, okay? So use them for, for grinding only. So that's for the for the molar. And the next part now it asks you. So you you expected on this one you expected to know the 
the, the tooth structure. So you're expected to know and identify to say, oh, these are molars, these are premolars. And you're also supposed to know the, the functions, okay? So for canine tooth, it's for gripping and tearing. You're expected to know this. For um, the, this incisor, it's for cutting. You're supposed to know this. And you're also supposed to identify. You also are expected to identify the, the tooth when when it's uh, when they present the dentals so when they just give you uh the teeth of a person so they give you in this fashion here so this one will be will be the way where the teeth are so you'll be having uh this tooth here obviously it's it won't be like this but then essentially that's what you'll be having and then you're expected to know the position for for this tooth or uh, for this teeth okay and um uh, another thing although not very important is the count for this teeth normally in a in a grown adult so for uh, canine teeth, you expect these ones will be just four, okay? And for incisor, these ones will be eight. So four here would be two at the top and two at the bottom. So for the canine, uh, the one, the front facing teeth, they're called uh, the incisor. You'll be finding eight of them. And then for, for this one, um, the, the, the uh, premolars, there are actually eight of them as well. And uh, for, for uh, the, the molar teeth, you actually find 12. Okay, so that's that's what you'll be having. So uh, uh, that's that's just about it for this part, and uh, for this part now, here you find twelve in the sense that there'll be three, because uh, you'll be having uh, four parts. So you'll be having three at the at the upper upper jaw to the left, and then you'll be having three at the upper jaw to the right, and then you'll be having three at the lower jaw to the left, and three at the lower jaw to the to the right. Okay, so this is what will be happening. So expected to know this, but then the numbers they usually don't test them. So that's just about it. But the positions, it's it's very important. On the B part, you're asked to explain the importance of mechanical digestion. Okay, so you're expected to uh, know the definition of mechanical digestion as well. Okay, you can uh, just give an anti-definition. So the anti-definition would be um, the the uh, digestion of food, breaking food into uh, smaller pieces without any chemical or enzyme action, okay? So, no chemical or enzyme action. So you're talking of uh, mastication and chewing. So chewing and mastication, they're actually the same thing, uh, more or less, okay? So that's mecha mechanical digestion. So why is it important? Well, it's important uh, because it increases the surface area surface area here. It's 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 a buzzword. Okay, so surface area will be saying uh, If uh, you have uh, a muscle of food, let's say it's this part here if the Enzymes have to act on this food then they all can only act on the on the uh, surface area here uh, surrounding the the muscle of food, but then if you break this food into into several parts which would you do by by uh, mechanical digestion then you actually have an increased surface area okay so this one uh, mechanical digestion is actually prepares the food for for chemical digestion or from uh, enzyme digestion okay so here you'll be having the surface area uh, increasing and also the mobility of food would also increase so you may find it hard to swallow and also food that's somewhat big so it's for this reason here but then if you chew it first you find it easier to to actually swallow, okay? And uh, this makes uh, chemical digestion of food proceed faster, okay? So the chemical digestion of food would be would actually be faster as a, as a reason of that, okay? So on the C part, you asked to state the products of uh, digestion of of the following nutrients, okay? So you have um, you have protein. If uh, you, uh, the the protein, um, the one of one of the common uh, enzymes, protein is called trypsin. You're expected to know this as well okay so trypsin acts on on protein and then we have amino acids so this one it's it's chemical digestion of of, uh, of protein and then for fats you're also expected to know okay so it's uh, uh, glycerol and fatty acids you should also be able to tell them apart uh, in terms of you know when you're given a diagram but then this is essentially it and also the other food nutrients you're supposed to know for example uh, carbohydrates you're supposed to know that amylase is it's one of the common uh, ones and then for for this one it's uh lipase lipase it's also a common enzyme uh for for uh, acting on on fats okay and uh you have bio bio it's, it's not uh, uh bio it's not 
air and enzyme but then it's more or less mechanical digestion okay so uh it takes on fats as well but then lipase that's the enzyme and uh you give you get this product here okay so that's just about it uh, for this question i'll catch you in the next video we'll be discussing question two thanks so much for watching make sure you like share and subscribe yuba out mm -hmm.